welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel this week i thought it would be a very perfect week to film a new what's in my work bag video i had made one of these like a few months ago but it was like when i was still on orientation so my bag has definitely changed since and i know it's kind of graduation season slash christmas season so if you need to go shopping for any of these products it is kind of a good time to go shopping but without further ado here we go this is my work bag this is my Kavu and I'm obsessed with it. I've had it for a few years, but I started using it as my work bag and it's perfect. So I have my badge always clipped to it so I don't forget it for work. So I'm gonna leave that to the side so I can wear it tonight. But this is the bag I use. It is this like teal color. There are so many different colors that you can get. So you don't have to get this exact one, but I really like it cause it's a crossbody. So it's really easy for me to carry like this. Then I have like my lunchbox, my water, some other random stuff that I'm carrying into work and it's just like a very easy bag. I feel like with the backpack when I'm holding a lot of stuff in my hands, it's like a little bit harder to put on. And then it does have this little snap here that you can take off and clip. So if you wanna take it off like that, you can. So anyways, this is the outside, it's super cute. It has these two pockets on the side, this little flap pocket here in the front and then this little pen pocket right here. So. In this top pocket, I'm not gonna open it because I just keep like my driver's license and credit cards and stuff like that that I take to work in this top one just so I have access to it and I don't have to take my whole wallet with me. And then down here in my little pen pocket, I have, of course, a lot of pens, a light dry erase marker, just normal black pens, multiple colors of highlighters, which are always helpful. Lots of different colors of flare pens. I only take a few to work every day because I'm scared of losing them, but I love having flare pens. They are worth the expense to keep buying them because I just love writing with these instead of normal pens. More pens, another highlighter, and then another dry erase marker and a pencil. And then I have my little baby scissors. So these are super cute. These are on my Amazon storefront. So if you're a baby nurse, definitely check these out because they are so not intimidating with parents coming around. They love these. That's that, that's this pocket. It's perfect for all the pens. There's literally so many and they all fit in here perfectly fine. And then here on my side pocket, I have my clipboard. It has lots of little cat stickers that one of my preceptors, Lauren, gave me. They're little like catacorn stickers. They say like cute and fierce. They're little cats eating cupcakes, saying feeling good. So I just love it because I love cats and unicorns and rainbows. So these are perfect. <laughs> so I have that on here. And then I have that little cheat sheet thing that comes with a lot of these clipboards on the inside. Not gonna lie, I've never used it, but I know some med surgery nurses do use it. Our parameters for OB and pediatrics are not the same. So I don't really pay attention to this so much, but it's perfect for putting your papers in because you can close it so people can't read like patient information. So whenever I'm doing something, I can just flip it down, put it on like the patient's side table and help them. And it's not like they can read like everybody else's medical stuff because it's closed. So this is perfect. I think every nurse should have one of these. And then in here, I also have this little notebook that Adele had made for me for a big little reveal. I use it for just taking random notes or like keeping all of my computer information in here or like my work information that I need. It has this little like bullet journal grid paper. So if I want to like write out notes on like certain procedures, which I will sometimes, so I know like how to chart them and what to do in the future, I'll write that in here. If I need to consult it for anything regarding like my schedule or like PPE things or whatever it's all in here so that's been really helpful for me to keep I really just keep things that I need to refer to later in that and then the last thing in that big pocket here is a scrub cap which I don't wear every single time but I do if I have like very sick patients or like I don't want my braids to touch like infected areas and stuff so if I'm trying to be like extra cautious then I wear this really cute scrub cap it does have this little cloth liner in the inside so it helps if you get like sweaty um I have little elephants on it and little polka dots and then it does have the little tie so if I have like a bun or a ponytail I can tie my hair like around it and it has that stretchy little back piece for your hair as well so this is my scrub cap I love it I think it's super cute and I always get a lot of compliments when I do have to wear it and this is also on my Amazon. Most of the stuff is on my Amazon storefront. So definitely check it out. So that was this pocket. There is also a zipper pocket here in the back. So if you wanted to have anything personal, I guess back here you can. I don't use it, but it's there. And then here on the other side pocket, I have this little emergency bag, which I use every day. It is my go-to ba bag during any of my breaks but I have a little Carmex, actually that one of my patients gave me, so super nice of them. 
Um, I have a little Burt's Bees chapstick, which I'm obsessed with too because I get really dry skin with my mask and stuff, so that's very helpful for me. I have this little mini body lotion that my friend Kelsey also gave me. She gave me the Burt's Bees and this, and these are lifesavers because, like I said, I get very, very dry in the hospital, so I use this all the time. I have a little Gold Bond healing um, lotion in here, so if I get like eczema or like some kind of irritation or just need like some kind of moisturizer then I use this gold bond there we go sorry it was taking forever to focus but it has like aloe in it so if I do get like an eczema flare-up or anything like that then I'll use this on that I have a mini little allergy relief thing just because I hate when it's like allergy season and you get like the sniffles and you're trying to talk to patients and they get scared so definitely need this I also have little Mucinex AM packets in here for when I needed them. I don't really use those very often. I have mini hair ties, which I wear my hair in braids every day for work. So having an extra in case one breaks is perfect. Pads and tampons, and that's it. So there's the inside of the bag. Kyle's aunt actually made me this little bag and I use it all the time, so I love that. So there's that and I just throw that in my bag and keep it available for me in my locker if I want to run to it in between like patients or whatever. And then I have my stethoscope. This is the Littman Pediatric Stethoscope. It is not as small as the like neonatal version, which I do have newborn, so it is technically a little bit bigger than the newborn one, but I use the stethoscope on both the moms and the babies, so it's like a perfect medium. So if you're a mother baby nurse, highly recommend the stethoscope. It has really good sounds. I've never really had an issue listening to my newborns. Te technically my newborns are not like preemies, so I don't really need the tiniest one. So this one is like perfect. It says Erica RN BSN. I gave this to myself as an NCLEX. Congratulations gift. So this is perfect. I did use a Littman Classic 3 when I was in nursing school on all my adult patients, but I really needed to get something that worked better on my babies. So this was perfect for me. And then I also have a pack of Clorox to go wipes in there. And then I have two extra masks in case I need them, but I do keep my masks in my locker, so I don't normally need to come grab these, but I have them just in case. But that is it. So here's my empty bag. Um, this side does not have a little zipper, but looks pretty much the same on the inside. So this is the bag I use for work. Highly recommend for everybody. And I was thinking whenever my little baby jar fills up, I was thinking about doing a giveaway where I like replicate my bag for a new grad nurse or for a nurse or whatever. So if y'all think that would be a good idea, let me know in the comments because that was just one of my giveaway ideas whenever I do fill up this jar. But I hope you guys liked seeing what was in my bag and I hope it inspired some of you new nurses or if you're just trying to consolidate your stuff into a smaller bag. I hope this helped because I definitely like having a lot of things with me, but my backpack was just too big for my locker and I don't need to have a whole binder and stuff with me now that I'm off orientation and I'm like very used to the flow of things now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you watched this whole video, comment some Christmas present emojis down below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already i'm going to try to work on some more christmas content coming up but i know it's crunch time season so it's almost christmas but i will do my very best let me know if there's anything in particular that you guys want to see and i'll see you guys next week bye